Hi, readers. Um, I'm going to teach you some spelling patterns for the sounds k, j, and s. Okay, let's start with k. When you're writing words that begin with the sound k, you have two choices. You might use the C for k or the K for k. But how do you know which one to use? Well, let me show you. C gets A, O, and U. K gets the other two. When you spell a word that begins with K and the vowel after it is an A or A, O or A, U or A, you use a C. If the sound K is followed by an I or I, E or E, and remember, Y likes to take those sounds, then you use a K. A way that you can remember this is a silly picture. So I'm going to draw a silly picture of a cat that has A's for eyes and O for a nose, a U for a mouth. This cat is so cute. Whoops. This cat is so cute and it likes to be coddled. It likes to be spoiled. Okay. Um, spelling the sound k with a K can be remembered with this picture of a kite because, let me do some drawing here, I'm gonna add a little bit. You can picture the lines of this kite. It's got a K here, I'm squeezing an I. Can you see the T? Now remember, K is followed by I or E. And then kite has a, um, a silent E at the end. But also, when you hear K and the E sound after it, like kelp or the name Kendall, um, you spell that with that K with a K. Kelp is like that um, seaweed that looks like a whip on the beach. Okay, remember, when you're spelling a word with the sound if the vowel after it is A or, or U, spell K with a C. If the vowel after the K is I, E, or Y, spell it with a K. Okay, one more thing I have to show you. This is so fun. So let's say the cat's owner is a woman named Cindy. Okay, you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. Cindy spells her name like this. What? I just said that after C, you do A or U. By Cindy, this is actually the sound S. It's the gentle, soft sound of C. So when C is followed by I, E, or Y, it makes the S sound, not K. Okay, so Cindy, let me show you. This is how we remember Cindy. Cindy has a E's for eyes, an I for a nose, and a Y for a mouth. There's another letter that has a soft, gentle sound like C. Can you tell what it is? It's G. Remember, G can say J. J is the soft, gentle sound of G. Well, how do you know that G says J and you spell it with a G but not J? Confusing, right? No, it's not confusing because if it is the sound J followed by an E, I, or Y, you spell the J sound with a G. You guys go ahead and watch this again and um, look for these words in your reading today and tomorrow. You're going to find them. This pattern, once you know about it, um, it's so, so helpful. 
These are the patterns for how to spell the sounds k, s, and j. Okay, give it a try. Look for these words in your reading. You might even try writing words and see what you know about um, spelling words with this pattern. We'll spend time with this this week. You got this. Good job.